Hi, I'm Steve Ardiri, AI Startup Advisor for Early Stage Startups and AI Strategy Advisor to MI10. What do uh, large, larger companies and some, some small, you know, medium-sized businesses, who do they prefer dealing with? Um, large established players or startups? Well, the short answer is for AI capabilities, uh, CIOs prefer to work with startups to deliver better customer experiences. You'll get a more modern architecture, agile product roadmaps, and more responsive to their feedback. So here are uh, a couple of uh, 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 use cases or, you know, or situations that really lend credence to what I just um, conveyed is IBM is now exploring a potential sale of IBM Watson Health. Wow, for those that didn't know that, that's pretty shocking. Uh, I was around, actually I kicked off my um, AI focused um, advisor, 100% you know, AI focused advisor engagement strategy right, right at the time that IBM formed its business unit in January, 2014. And frankly, to give them some credit, Hats off because they spent tens and tens of million dollars to tout, you know, AI and, and, and Watson. And it helped pull through some of the other players that um, didn't have that marketing budget. But so thank you for IBM for spending your money and the other companies not having to spend it. But it was a bet the ranch move. And this was underneath uh, Ginny Remini's age. She's no longer the CEO. But frankly, and this is a lesson learned for startups as well as established players. What is hype and what is true product deliverables? Typically, uh, and the big companies are the most egregious at, at having more hype, but also some of the well overfunded startups are also in that to where the hype is way ahead of the product deliverables. And if you burn up too much money, you're really going to piss off your VCs because it's, uh, it's making it harder and harder to have an outcome. But back to Watson, you know, Watson Health, maybe, you know, um, they promised the moon, like, like one of their, uh, uh, one of their um, uh, uh, use cases was curing cancer at MD Anderson, which was a colossal failure. And actually that was in conjunction with PwC. So when you get two parties that are hyping things, it's a multiple and it's a lot more severe. So um, a lot of this talks about, you know, the challenges of not just the, the easier use cases like image detection for radiology, breast cancer, you know, other, other forms of, of, that's okay. You have high accuracy, eight, nine, 98, 99%. But when you're treating more complex medical conditions, it gets a whole lot more difficult. And hype is not the answer. Uh, you need, you know, you need to actually tech companies. Okay, here's the issue: IBM and the other players, Accenture, PwC, they lack deep experience in terms of how healthcare works. They do not understand clinical workflow. All right. And that's where being an advisor um, uh, to MI10, which is a physician led advisory group, that's what is getting the interest of hospitals, uh, professional schools with medical programs, and some AI healthcare companies that recognize this expertise. Because just sticking in a chief medical officer at a tech company is not a panacea at all. You have to understand. Okay, by having the physician experience where you can insert AI and without slowing things down, you know, in, in the clinical workflow work sense. Okay, so uh, a key lease, and, and, and even to this day, a lot of the AI startups in the healthcare space still have not learned this lesson, and they're going to probably come up with, you know, uh, not being able to execute smartly enough, and they're going to really, you know, be disenfranchised because the market is brutal. 
it isn't just the name, the names, the luster names behind it. It's really getting back to what I talked about in terms of what you look for, you know, in startups, whether they're big names or no names or unknown names, is that you've got to position your, your business model for value-based success. And especially in, you know, tough to treat clinical uh, settings where patient engagement, patient adherement uh, is uh, a big part of the experience, that's where you're going to drive health you know, system innovation. For AI capabilities, why more nimble, smarter, more attentive outfits that do the assessment and education before they get into the advisor, strategy advisory and for transformation is paramount.